Well, I'm suggesting that um, the $750 million worth of uh, economic damages that DP just settled with the state for that the legislature will be able to decide public policy on in, uh, in January, unless they have a special session sooner. I'm suggesting that, and this is not novel to me, as a lot of other folks have been talking about this, that we put that into a trust fund here on the coast, run by coast leaders. We've got a lot of smart people there. We've got a lot of smart elected officials. And they respond to you. And so let's put it on the coast where we have plenty of talent. Several weeks ago when the uh, investment, I mean, the settlement was announced, the governor said he thought all the money ought to be spent on the coast. But, you know, that's a good start. Yeah. And I really applaud that. Uh, his leadership is going to be essential. Of course, the legislature is going to vote on it. I think our coastal legislators, if they hear from you, I think they're thinking along these lines already, but if they hear from you, uh, but you think it's a good idea, that helps. Now, we on the coast collectively have only about 10% of the votes in the legislature, maybe a little more now, but it's, uh, it's not a commanding majority, so we have to have to make our case, and I think we make our case as a people with our legislators and, and to Jackson, not in a negative or punitive way, but simply that if you let us work on this, we're going to build this economy and put more money in the state treasury, and that's really the name of the game.